hello guys what's up welcome back to a new video first of all happy new year and i hope you're all doing great and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create this grassland scene in unreal engine 5 it's going to be very simple and easy to follow so let's get started so first of all we have to create lights so we can just go to window and we can hit in the light mixture and here hit uh, create a skylight create atmospheric light create a sky atmosphere create volumetric cloud and create height fog now go all the way down and here enable volumetric fog just like that then go to skylight and hit real-time capture now we can just uh, make a new folder for all of our lights and we can just name this folder oh wait we can just name this folder lights and you can name it any anything as you wish now let's just save it and let's go to landscape mode to create our landscape and you can choose any material you want uh, as you can see i added a gravel ground material here and set the location zero and here in the scale set it something uh, uh, just the uh, just set it default okay and here in the section side, you can set it to 7 into 7. And here in number components, just set it to 6 into 6. And then hit create. And now, as you can see, we have a beautiful landscape. So we can sculpt it now. So let me just sculpt it. So as you can see, I'm done with the sculpting and now we're going to be adding our foliage in this uh, landscape. So for this, we what we can do, we can just go here and we can search for PCG volume here. And we can just drag it all the way down to our landscape, just like that. Set the skill something like 50. Okay, that would be enough. And now, uh, go scroll down here and go to PCG component. And here, in graph, here select a PCG graph. And uh, you can name it anything. For me, let me just name it PCG. Uh, sorry, PCG. And then save it and then we open it and here we're going to be add our foliage so uh, just expand the input node and from landscape you can just search for surface sampler and what you can do you can just hit D to debug the surface sampler node now if you just go here as you can see there is nothing going on so just save this and hit generate as you can see now we have some points where we can spawn our grasses and do the stuff so just go to pcg again and here in surface sampler you can set the per square uh, points per square kilometer you can just set this to something like three and in points extends set this to something like 10 uh, 10 and 10 just like that and set the loose length something like 0 0.7 as you can see we have some points in our landscape now it's time to transform these points so we can just drag out a another node and we can just search for transform points and here let's just undebug the surface sample node to, and to undebug any node we just uh, hit to this uh, the uh, d key in our keyboard and then let's just debug the our transfer point node and in rotation max you can just set it to 360 degree oh, sorry, 360 and in scale minimum set it uh, set it to 2 and scale max set it to 3 
Now, as you can see, we have some points to spawn our grasses. Now, let's just copy this and we can just paste it and we can plug it here again, just like that. And let's just uh, debug this one. And now, in this surface sampler, set this uh, points per square kilometer to 1 and looseness to 1. And in the transfer points, uh, set this to 1 and set this to 2. Uh, then uh, we have some more points to spawn some more grasses. Now I'll save it and go to PC again. And we can just copy it and paste it here again. And from the land mass, sorry, a landscape, we can just plug it to our surface. Now let's just debug this. And in this surface sampler, we we're gonna set this point per square meter uh, to 0 0.3 and uh, looseness to oh, sorry 0 0.3 and looseness to 0 0.3 again. And in the transfer points, we're gonna be keeping it default. Maybe this is going to be two and this is going to be three. Yeah. Now, as you can see, we have some more points to spawn our fern. Okay. Now let me save this and now debug this all to check the final result of our points. And now uh, we have all the points to spawn our grasses and ferns. So what I can do, we can just undebug these transfer points nodes, and from this out, we can just search for uh, search for static mesh spawner. And now we can add some meshes here so we can uh, let me just add some meshes uh, i have some grasses downloaded from quicksell bridge you can just go and check that uh, so let me just go to three plants and let me just add some grasses here So as you can see, I have added all uh, the static meshes in our scene. Now we can just plug this to our output node. And now if I just go to uh, my main scene, as you can see, we have a cool looking Nevada. This, as you can see, it's looking very good. Uh, and if you want, you can do some more customizations uh, as your wish. And Maybe I'm gonna be changing this point per square meter for uh, to three to get some more dense details. Uh, yes, that's right. So as you can see, it's now looking more good. And now we can just add a simple post process volume in our scene. So let me just save it, and we can just uh, add a post process volume, and we can just search here for unbound. Um, so as you can see here is infinite extent unbound and we can just enable this and now here we can just search for exposure and we can just enable these two options and here we're going to be selecting manual and we just set this to 10. So as you can see our new auto is ready as you, and as you can see it's looking very cool as well. So uh, maybe I can 
improve this more so let me just do it exposure uh, uh, in post process volume and expose it with I can just set it to 10.5 yeah that's good so that's ready so this is how you can make a cool looking model and it's very simple right so i uh, hopefully guys you enjoyed the video so don't forget to uh, like and subscribe my channel so take care and bye